Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this general problem, they tell us that a pole vaulter is nearly motionless as he clears the bar set 4.2 meters above the ground. He then falls onto a thick pad, and the top of the pad is 80 centimeters above the ground. It compresses by 50 centimeters as he comes to rest, and what is his acceleration as he comes to rest on the pad? So it's really helpful for this one to see what's happening. So right here, we'll say this is the pole, and it's the 40... 4.2 meters. He's going to come up and hang for just a second, motionless, and then come over. And then there is a pad right here that they said is 80 centimeters above the ground. It compresses by 50 centimeters. So it ends right here at 50 centimeters. So there's two different distances that we'll take into account. The first one is the difference between the top of the bar and the pad. So the first one is the top of the bar. He clears it at the 4.2 meters. And then the difference down to the 80 centimeters, which is 0.8 meters. So that's going to give us a delta Y of 3.4 meters for this first section. The last one, Oh, you know what they said? It compresses by 50, so this is actually 30 centimeters. And the delta Y for the second one, they give us as 0.5 meters. So now we need to figure out what his speed was right when he hits the pad. We'll be using V final squared is equal to V initial squared plus 2A times delta Y. The initial velocity they tell us is motionless, so it's zero. They say he's hanging right as he clears the bar. So that goes away. So the final velocity squared is equal to 2a delta y, but we need the final velocity, so we'll take the square root of both sides. So the final velocity is equal to the square root of 2 times the acceleration times the delta y. Now we just found the delta y for this section right here, and he's going in the negative y direction. So it's a negative 3.4 meters. So we have V final is equal to the square root of 2 times the acceleration, and he's in free fall. So it'll be a negative 9.8 meters per second squared times a delta Y of negative 3.4 meters. So we have square root of 2 times negative 9.8 times negative 3.4. So his final speed right before he hits the pad is a 8.16 meters per second. So that is the final velocity right here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take that as the initial velocity for when he hits the pad and starts to go down. So let's give us a little more space. Because what we're trying to find is the acceleration as he comes to rest on the pad. So that's our end goal. To do that, we need the velocity or for right when he hits the pad. So the equation that we'll be using is the same. We have V final squared is equal to V initial squared plus 2 times the acceleration times delta y. In this case, however, the final velocity, that is zero because he's coming to rest on the pad. So this initial velocity is we're taking it from the quote unquote final velocity from the previous section. So we'll subtract it over to the other side. So we have negative velocity initial squared is equal to 2 times the acceleration times delta y. Our goal is to isolate acceleration, so we'll divide everything by 2 delta y. That will go away. Divide by 2 delta y. So acceleration is equal to negative initial velocity squared, like this, divided by 2 delta y. Now when we plug in our values, we'll have a negative initial velocity, and we found that as the 8.16 meters per second. And we'll square that. I write it like this because it is important to have the negative sign outside of the parentheses. If you square a negative 8.16, you'll end up with a positive value on top and you'll end up with the wrong answer. We are going to divide that by 2 times delta y. Now, this delta y is going to be the 
negative 0.5 meters. He's falling down in the negative y direction on the pad, and they say it compresses by half of a meter. So we have a negative 8.16 squared, and then we'll divide that by 2 times a negative 0.5 meters. So we have the final acceleration for when he's on the pad of 66.6, so we can round that up to 67 meters per second squared for the acceleration while he's on the pad.